Amid junior doctors extending their walkout, the government is once again urging the medical community to present a reasonable, unified plan and to engage in talks. Our Lee Soo-jin tells us more. While the South Korean government and the medical community agree that communication is necessary, the ongoing rift continues as both sides remain at impasse. Prime Minister Han Duk Su, in a meeting on Wednesday, once again asked the medical community to present a reasonable and unified plan for the medical school admission quota, saying that the government is ready to engage in talks in any form whenever. This comes amid doctor organizations such as the Korean Medical Association and the Korean Intern Resident Association standing firm and demanding that the medical admission quota plan be scrapped before they participate in talks. And only a few junior doctors returned to work on Monday, despite it marking three months since their absence began. Under the relevant law, junior doctors are only allowed up to three months off to qualify for the specialty certification exam the following year. According to a survey conducted by the Health Ministry of 100 major hospitals as of Monday, only 659 junior doctors have returned, which is only 5.1 percent of the total junior doctors in the nation. Prime Minister Han also said that 16 out of the 32 medical schools have completed amendments to their medical school admission plans for next year, with the government also pledging to work closely with the remaining schools. The Korean Council for University Education will hold a university admissions committee meeting this week where it will review and approve the amendments submitted and announce the new admission guidelines next week. This comes after the Seoul High Court last Thursday ruled in favor of the government and rejected an application submitted by medical students, exam candidates, professors and trainee doctors to halt the government's plan to expand the number of new medical students by 2000 starting in 2025. And to address the ongoing shortage of doctors at hospitals, the prime minister also pledged to dispatch 120 more doctors from military hospitals starting Thursday, in addition to the 427 military and public health doctors that have already been deployed. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.